So we're going to start with a file system lab. We have an existing file system virtual cloud network. We also have a compute instance, which we are going to use to mount the file system on. This is uh, what we need, and this is what we are going to start with. Now, there are some prerequisites, uh, so we have to keep that in mind. So we need to have few ingress rules. Uh, we need to start with a CIDR uh, source code is the VCN 10.0.16 TCP all. And we are going to use uh, ports from 2048 to 2050. Same way, we are going to also use a destination port of 111. And then we are going to use UDB protocol and uh, repeat the same thing here with uh, 2048 uh, to 50 to 111. So the requirement is at least one virtual cloud network, which we already have, correctly configured security list, rules in the VCN subnet where you plan to create the file system. And we've done that. So we have to create two stateful TCP traffic and two stateful UDP traffic. So it's for open network computing, remote procedure call. For NFS protocol, to mount the file system and uh, to lock the file system, network lock manager. So we need these to be created. So let's go back to the VCN and chances I might have created those. Let me check. So we have uh, 2048 to 2050, it's TCP. Then we should have another TCP, which is 111. And uh, we have two UDP, which is 2048, 2050 and one for 111 and uh, you must uh, must have uh, uh, been through the the training where we added those it's it's simple you just added rules you pick your you could go down here say add rule cider we are looking at TCP we'll say TCP uh, we're going to give this uh, 10. And we are going to say the ports here, 2048 to 2050. So this is a egress, but it should be, I should have created this, so it should be on the ingress row. So I'm not going to save this because it's already created here, but I just wanted to show you how, if you if you've forgotten how to add the rules. So once that is done, we will go to the storage section. We'll go to file systems. We'll create a file system. We'll name it file system. So we're going to create an, uh, a new mount target. We are using the availability domain one. And uh, we'll name it file system also. So we are selecting the 81, we need to stay within this IP range. I'm just selecting one at random. Host name, we are going to, maybe we'll name it file system also. And the path will, will have it at the root directory file system. And that's where, and we can just say five gig for now.
maybe just 10 gig. And it'll take a few minutes for it to be done. So it's created. Now I'll go to the compute instance. So we started out with a compute instance and uh, the VCN. This is the name of the compute instance. So now we are going to mount the, the file system. So let's do that here. So we mounted it here. So we have the file system which has been mounted. We can detach it, and these are the commands. So we uh, did do the mount. Now what we need to do is use these commands and run those on the compute instance. So we would create a directory, and then we would mount the file system to that directory. This might take a few minutes. Let me pause here. I'm back. So it did take uh, around four or five minutes. And the file is created. So the file system is mounted, and we can use that for your applications or store files. And as we created, it's a 10 gig in size. So it's there. So it's very simple, and you can add multiple file systems that way.